Hi, my name is Christina Anderson. I am the City Planner for Kalamazoo. Thank you for viewing this presentation, which serves as the introduction to the second activity for the Downtown Zoning Code update. Because we are still limited on public gatherings, input for this activity will continue to be collected online and on paper. We began this process in June, and we kicked off with an update of the zoning map by dividing the currently one very large downtown district into three smaller districts. The result of this activity and the questions on the new district's permitted uses and standards make up the focus of our second activity. We also will continue to ask questions regarding the development process. This work will all go before the Planning Commission and City Commission for review and hopefully approval through public hearings. Before we talk about the second activity, I wanted to remind everyone why we are undertaking this zoning code update. First, the city is working and has been working in small sections to update its entire zoning code, which was last updated in 2005. Zoning should support the community's vision as detailed in the master plan, and our master plan was updated in 2017, so it's also time to update the zoning code. For downtown specifically, the code update will focus on standards that support the vision for downtown as described in the master plan. The vision for downtown is one that is able to meet our community's housing needs, a downtown that supports economic vitality, is an active and inviting place for all of those who live, work, and play, and is able to be accessed by all regardless of how you are traveling in or through downtown. The master plan further said that in order to meet this vision, some of the things that we should consider when we update our zoning code are, first, the impact of buildings, especially the first floor of buildings, on the block and the sidewalk and the character of the area, to create clear standards that allow for a very predictable outcome, and to streamline review and approvals process. As I mentioned, currently there is one zoning district that covers the very large area of downtown. We have found that this one-size-fits-all approach is limiting our ability to support the vision as laid out by the master plan by preventing us from being able to tailor specific standards to the unique areas of downtown. This is why the first activity of our zoning code update was to divide the large one downtown district into three smaller districts that more accurately fit the character, the size, and the scale of the area. This is the resulting map from activity one. On the left, the three districts are described, and on the right is the resulting map. To view the map in a larger scale, you can access it from the project page on imaginekalamazoo.com, as well as from the survey page. From here, you will be able to provide feedback on the proposed zoning map. So activity two. Activity two, now that we have a draft district map to work from, this activity will focus on the permitted uses and the development standards in those districts. First, for uses, all three districts will allow a mix of retail, service, entertainment, and office uses that are commonly found in downtowns across the country. The survey questions will focus on the key differences on how these uses are treated between the three different districts, any changes from the current zoning code, and consideration of adding marijuana uses in downtown. Like the use questions, the survey will also focus on the development standards, such as height and lot access, and how they differ between the districts. There will also be questions on the downtown design review guidelines. The new downtown districts are form-based, meaning that in addition to permitting uses and general building location, they include standards that will also regulate form specifically for building walls that face public areas such as our streets and sidewalks. This includes such standards as entrances on street-facing walls and the minimum amount of transparency, which means the ratio between windows to wall space. These standards currently exist in the city's 
downtown design review guidelines and are being transferred into the zoning code itself. Through this activity, a discussion will occur on how to handle the remaining design guidelines, such as those that regulate the permitted materials for a new building. Access to this survey and all information on the project remains available at imaginekalamazoo.com slash projects slash downtown zoning. Thank you again for participating in this project and please let us know if you have any questions.